Hey guys, Jinji here, back at it again with another video. Now, make sure to like and subscribe, otherwise Luna here will be very sad. And you don't want to make Luna sad. No, you don't. You don't want to make Luna sad. <laughs> Gamco fragments the cell and who is the monk sense? Bro, well, this is so long ago. There was no cam back then. Wait, I can also do maybe the MDI time trials with it. This was 4 DPS. Yeah, yeah this was. This one is. Okay, the crawlers and the scorpions, nashers, lurkers, Hulk. Very big pull. Okay, a lot of things going on here. Uh, let's just take a look at the mobs real fast. Variants. Uh, uh, the wrong expansion. Variants layer. Okay, bring up the key. And no, uh, no wow had the uh, tips in this. We need to go check wow head ourselves. So let's look at the mobs. Um, I remember the lurkers, they would dig underground and then they would go to a random player's location. That's why you wanted to be somewhat close. I think the hawks have this frontal ability. Yeah, the piercing shard. It's literally the exact same mechanic as in the Sure Vault. Okay. Um, else we have... He does a fracture, which is a knockback. The, oh yeah, the, the chunk, the small one, he does like a smash, but does damage around you. And the Impa Shard, uh, Impa Shard Scorpion. Oh, yeah, they also they do a, the Lurkers do a random spit after the duck on the ground. Uh, wow, hit this. Quick. I don't remember exactly the. Fuck. Okay, uh, Nose an enemy, physical damage, and additional damage, everyone. I think this is a... I don't remember if this went on random targets. I think it was a tank mechanic, but uh, something tells me it was Fervent Strike. But I don't remember 100%. Um, then there was... What was it called? Scorpion as well. Um, at yeah, the impaling shard, it impales the enemy. The stinger. Okay, so that's just like uh, some tank damage as well. Things, uh, things to tank. Okay, so that's that. This guy had fracture, which is knockback on the tank plus debuff. Right, it gave debuff. This is the debuff from uh, the scorpion sting. Did Fracture give Robin anything? No, it didn't. Damage. Parry or something? But yeah, the crush is very dangerous. Watch out, you don't get it. <laughs> and yeah, these uh, lurkers here, just make sure you're somewhat close so that you uh, they don't spawn too far away. <clears throat> Alright, so that's that pull. Um, after that, you jump down here, and uh, normally you would jump in the water, but here we're using Avalanche Potion to avoid uh, any fall damage, right? You have the... 
default. Understone. Check them. Understone. Crutch. Those wow heads. Why did I do that? They have no mechanics. They just uh, do nothing. The only mechanic they have in uh, in wow hit is, is bursting. Right? They do they do nothing. They the target dummy, tank damage. Um, so this boss, I remember Rock Mora. He has a couple things. Um, uh, we just double check everything. Uh, Rockmora, Egen, uh, Nefarian Slayer. So he has an ability called Shatter, um, and there's some small scorpions to spawn. These scorpions, they spawn based on his HP, by the way. Um, and if the scorpions are up when he does Shatter, the more damage he will do. And uh, he does like a frontal thing called Razor Shards. Uh, you can just, uh, well, face, as a tank, face them away from the group. Um, so that's like the two dangerous abilities. Uh, the Crystal Man body shatters his time it is struck. Uh, I don't remember exactly how often it spawns, but it's based on his damage taken. Um, when they die, uh, there's some poison gas around them, and that's it. Uh, so that's kind of like very, very simple. Uh, Boss mechanics, really. Like, that's kind of what you uh, look at. That's the only thing. So let's see here. Skitter spawn. Kind of just do AoE damage to them. And then the Shatter. Um, I don't remember if they did less damage. Does anyone remember? Did they do less damage if they had lower HP? Or did it do full damage if it was alive? Something tells me that the... Like, if you actually just got a little bit lower, the boss did less damage from Shatter. But I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I think it was HP-based. So, uh, if you want to help your team... When you see the shatter cast, you can throw some globals onto the uh, small ones, uh, and then uh, you can reduce the damage from shatter. And then the the razor shards, frontal there, similar to the piercing shard from uh, a sure vault, except that it doesn't follow the tank. You can sidestep it. Okay, so that's that boss. Um, Robin died on purpose here. Goes into Sanguine. Because the spawn point is past the next part. But actually, if you if you didn't do what he just did, you would jump into a barrel uh, and you would just fly across the water uh, really quickly from the back. Here he is. Guy stepping. Pulling a ton of mobs here. Breakers, hurlers, gnashers, drummers. Okay. So, the drummers here, you can stop them. They will, like, bang the drum, and they will spawn mobs that come from the ground. I think this drummer also uh, gives count, by the way, if I remember correctly. Uh, you have the gnashers, which does stone gaze. Kick that. Literally just, um, well, it kind of destroys you. And if I remember correctly, yeah, let's go mob by mob. Uh, you have the, the drummer, right? <sighs> I hear it. Uh, war drums. 
It will just make uh, mobs come down. Um, on that, stops doing it. You have the hunter. Double check what it has. It has kill command. Commands his pet to use his most dangerous ability. Uh, smash the ground inflicts physical damage to all enemies. Okay. Double check. That is correct. If they removed. Actually, the hunter do that. Just pull. Don't remember this one. That's the hunter. Hunter is guy. Like a shatter. Robin, yeah, he he did he did the ability. Uh, so he does like a shatter that does damage to. Him. Um, that's him. Um, you have Baker. What are these guys doing much? Oh wait, no, they're the ones with avalanche, right? Smash the ground to enemies in front of the caster. The impact of the blow caused rock to fall on a random target. Aha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're the ones that uh, do the avalanche ability. That one real quick. And I remember the shapers and the other ones. They, they were like super annoying. Don't really. See. I remember people had like an avalanche weak aura. It was very dangerous, but. Okay, he's pulling the breaker here. I hope we can see the avalanche. Perfect. I think you had to sidestep, by the way, like uh, the avalanche, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's why you had a weak aura. Yeah, there we go, the avalanche. It was just like a. Um, a weird mechanic. Yeah, we're playing no healer here. So that's the avalanche. So when you see the avalanche cast, you literally just sidestep from your initial position. Otherwise, I think you could take damage if the mechanic is as I remember it. Um, you have Nashers. Mops, like I said, they will do the... Uh, no, they have more abilities than this. They also have the stone gaze that will stun you. We saw that before. Then up here, we have two more mobs. There's the pelter. I think these pelters have both a disengage. And then they just randomly throw discs at people. And they are like very, very scary mobs. They did so much damage to you. Let's look at, uh, yeah, exactly. Retreat leaps away, so they have a they leap away. Things like grips, vortexes, super good. Uh, they kind of like the mobs in Halls of Valor. Then you have the jack disc that just they just perma cast the shit on random targets, it does so much damage. So the pelters are a little bit dangerous uh, on high keys. Then you have, uh, I remember the shaman, whatever, like the hooks that we talked about as well. The hooks, uh, they will do the, the slam, and the hooks also had the frontal. And then you have the shapers as well. Shapers, I think they had like where they spawned a random fucking element. Double check. One of them has the up already. Yeah, a totem. So some is a totem. Um, which does nature damage every one second. And then when it comes in contact with the, the cloud, will be petrified after 10 seconds. And then it has a stone bolt. Um, this stone bolt did a lot of damage as well. So let, let's just take a look if we can. Robin is just running the whole dungeon, bro. Like it's hard to. Yes, the bone chop. This is uh, the chomp from the from the net. Um. Here we also have the shapers. 
Stonebolt, we interrupt that. Uh, the Hulk, as we know, they have they do the frontal ability, piercing shard, like you would know from a sure vault. Uh, except for the fact that it doesn't follow the tank mid cast. You can see here, it locks into its position. This was like the Legion meta, by the way, guys. Stacked everything up with mass grip, and then you just ran. And then you had the ultimate corruption with a legendary that um, made it so that corruption did more damage and had a permanent slow. So you had corruption slow on all of them, and you would just kite until stuff was dead. Was lit. Then you have Crack Shaper. Uh, here you need to. This is actually a, quite a fun uh, boss. Thunder, uh, max the tank. These idols that spawn, they do debris that does, if I'm not mistaken, let's just double check the uh, dungeon guides, make sure we're not wrong. So you have the idols here, and when the, while they are up, they do debris, which does physical damage to enemies near the impact. Um, what else is there? The uh, yeah, Sunder, I mean, he smacks the, um, the tank, and then... On his doing intermission, you see he has this intermission here that's called Stance of the Mountain, where he will go down. Look here. We'll go down here. And you need to follow this one. See down here, 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 here. So this is the correct one. Okay, so now you need to kill the correct idol. Um, and doing this uh, intermission here, debris falls down. And it does a lot of damage. And if you get unlucky, I believe, and the debris hits you, like you just take random damage in the intermission, but if you get hit by it, you get like an additional damage tick, so it, it's very dangerous. Um, so um, that's kind of this boss. Oh yeah, and, oh, yeah, and the hands. The hands, they will like kind of clap together. So don't be there. Boom. You want to go out. You want to dodge those. Don't run over the hands while you dodge them. <laughs> Two Peldas could double tap DPS. They're going to need to nerf them. Yeah, they were very dangerous mobs back then. Strike of the mountain. That's the hands here. Okay. So that's this boss. Uh, we can move on. What else? Nope. This avalanche, shaman guy, and the disc boy. There's some uh, basilisks in the water. Um, here you have the grub smasher. That one is one we haven't had yet. Uh, here. It has the burning geode as well here. It also has... Or like this is the one that he can spawn this guy. So, uh, I think it has a random cast. Make sure. Yeah, it's Scorch. Um, actually, true. It's on the ground. It, it casts the uh, uh, fire on the ground. Touch. And uh, then you have the Grub Smasher. Double check. Leech. Uh, hurts the leech at an enemy. Um, does damage every one second for eight seconds. Smashes the ground. Taking damage to all nearby enemies. Um, causes grub at a random enemy destination that will summon a worm if not killed quickly. Yes. I remember now. So... Uh, put like a random worm that will turn into a worm. It's a maggot. And you need to kill it before it turns into a worm. Skip uh, all of this shit back then. I can see here. Looks like. But uh, I think we will. Uh, yeah, we okay. It's good. We do uh, one uh, grub master here so we can. Does the stone shatter? Well, it actually got stopped. I think it looked like it recasted. Probably cast out of this. 
they're all getting just bigger stun. Stone Shatter, boom. Didn't look like it was so big, the ability. What the fuck was that Sanguine Puddle? Look how clean that was. This is the Grub. Oh, yeah, true. But this is the Grub he throws. This one does Metamorphosis. You don't even need to kill it. Look, we just stunned the cast, and it won't turn into it. Okay, so you don't need to kill it, actually. You just need to stun it. Um... I was on a mission. I was like doing some crazy tech or what? I was getting some trash. Okay, we're waiting for the sanguine. Then we go boss. This boss was a little bit random. Rancid Maw. Oh, yeah, true. So, Rancid Maw, it will throw a poo poo uh, on people that would stay. So you kind of like wanted to place it well for a certain double check. I think it slowed the mobs. Uh, Rancid more fires a ball at random enemy, does niche damage, and leaves a puddle. Anyone who gets caught in the pool has the movement speed reduced. Yeah, exactly. Uh, acid and Sire party when not engaged in melee. If no one's in melee, does damage to all everyone, like uh, most of these worms do. Uh, which is vile, leaving behind a toxic pool and inflicts nature damage around the boss. Five seconds. I think these go away. Uh, then there's the spiked tongue that latches onto a random player. Pulls, actually, is it on everyone? I think it is on everyone, actually. Inflicts physical damage. One second. You run away. Kind of like you don't want to get sucked in. Very similar to uh, Bone Maw in uh, the Moon Burger Grounds. Want to avoid that. Um... Every time she eats someone, her damage is increased by 25%. Um, and that's going to make the Toxic Wretch do a lot of damage. You can see nature damage every half a second um, to the whole party um, for five seconds. Well, actually, every half a second around the boss, and then every one second for, um, for everyone else, five seconds. So that's what it does. Um... Frenzy, this on percentage, I think it's percentage based that she gets it, no? I think when she drops lower, she gets this enrage effect. Um, there's also these uh, devouts. They will go over to the worm and they will sacrifice themselves to the boss, which also gives uh, the boss the reminisce damage increase. So that's kind of like the only thing what you need to watch out for. Don't stand in the poo poo. Um, when the rancid maw comes, you can, you know, as a melee, position yourself well so there's no too much shit in melee. Um, then this is like the nature damage you can see on the whole group, <laughs> which does damage. Uh, Rob is not really uh, looking in the direction of the middle of the room. Uh, I think the desers are, but there is, maybe you can look at my, U, my uh, POV from one of the high keys we did. But uh, these devouts will jump down. Uh, you can slow them and everything. The Robin is running out. You can see this poop, by the way. The, maybe the devouts are coming out. This is the rancid maw as well. You can also see that uh, Robin is using the poop to his advantage. And it's on the tank. Um, maybe it was always only on tank? Yeah, yeah, okay. You're right. Uh, looks like it's just a tank mechanic. This uh, bike tongue. That's kind of that boss. Uh, I'll show a different POV of the devout. Um, uh, go over to the boss here so we can my POV boss. Yeah, here, you can see them. So these are the devouts on the boss. This is from a DPS player POV. Hit them early before they jump down. You want to kill them before they get close uh, and the worm eats them. You can stun these and uh, everything. Um, one, two. They're like affected by most stuff, I believe. So uh, that's kind of that boss. <clears> okay, <throat> and then after the boss, you jump down into the hole here, jump into water, and uh, you have the demolishers and the breaker here. Demolisher. 
haven't seen breakers we have those are the ones that do the avalanche um where you have to pre all the shit wait uh fixates an enemy transforms into a hulking charge oh yeah true when they i'm not sure if it's Italy. Um, but they turn into like a stone golem and they start fixating on someone. But I think it's when they're lower HP that they that that happens. Um, here you have the trappers as well. Trappers, trappers, dominators. Oh yeah, true. That that's the scorpions. Um, trappers. I have to say. Yeah, they have the disc as well. Um, and they have a bound ability. I guess that needs to be in that in a second. Um, we're going to double check. Then you have the other ones. But uh, Impa Husk. The trick to these uh, scorpions. Um, sends him into a rage that increases melee attack speed and damage done. And soof that. Wipes with his claws inflicting physical damage to enemies in front of the creature. But if I'm not mistaken, the dominator that is uh, on top of them also does something. Like he will also do. Permanent damage. So what you did here, this was a, uh, this is the same way as uh, towards the end of Nakut. These are linked to um, the last boss, but if you pull them, someone pulls the boss and feign death them off, you can skip them. This is where the last uh, boss Nakut tech is is actually taken from, because you did this in Elfarian's lab back in the day. Um, so let's look at the boss real quick. Uh, Dragul. <sighs> okay. Slams the ground, uh, causing some spikes to erupt and knocking enemies back. Don't stand in that. Uh, after landslide, uh, swings, causing ground to erupt, inflicting nature damage. Tank mechanic. Then he summons this uh, molten boy right here. Um, every t step he takes, he has the earth, that does fire damage. He will fixate a random player. And this is where these crystal spikes... Um, there is uh, crystal spikes that spawn. Um, you use these spikes to uh, avoid the damage from magma wave, which is like an AoE ability. It's kind of like, die if you don't. Uh, one mechanic that reminds... A little bit of that is, I guess we can call it uh, God King Scovalt in uh, Horses of uh, Valor. If you're not in the shield doing his AoE, you die. Kind of same thing here. You need to be behind the Crystal Spike before the Magma Wave. Uh, there's two spikes that spawn, I believe, before he does a Magma Wave. The second one you can use um, by having the guy that's fixated goes behind, a Chris, like, behind one of the spikes this molten guy will walk towards him. He will get stunned by the spike and for 10 seconds and take 100% increased damage. The perfect timing to finish this guy off with burst damage. Doing that stun uh, when he takes increased damage, okay? That's kind of that boss. The crystal spike. Uh, he does random. Also some... Yeah, this is the crystal spike you can see here. Boom. Bones, uh, the char skin. And I think this landslide ability that he does here, I think this one also destroys them, by the way. So I think you need to be careful not to uh, hit hit them. But I'm, am, I, am, I, am I right in, in saying that? I'm not 100% about this. But I think the landslide destroyed the spikes. But I could be wrong. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe he's just facing it away because it hits the DPS player. The Molten Crash. Um, and, uh, yeah, wait, you can see here, uh, as well, like, the Molten Char skin is fixate on, uh, Imba, pass it over, 10 seconds done, 100% damage increase. <clears throat> Then we get, let me see, did we use two of the ones? Crystal Spike into Instant Stun. Okay, actually we used the uh, double Crystal Spike. Um, so he spawned two Crystal Spikes, so you could use two of them. Uh, and then Magma Wave comes. So you actually have three Spikes before the Magma Wave. You can see everyone's already behind it because... When the boss is so close to it, you can actually, um, you can over, you can you can sit behind and sit there and hit. It's not line of sight the uh, the crystal spike, so you can just sit here and do abilities like normal. Um, so that's kind of like the whole fight, really. Let me let me just see if the if it's triple spike into triple spike. So first magma wave. Okay, so crystal spike immediately after. A little bit forward. We get another crystal spike. Okay, so it's always triple crystal spike into magma wave. Oh. That's like the that's the boss. Okay, um, let me just uh, check uh, this. The last mob we needed to check out was the Dominator. That we see if we're actually playing them here in run here. I think we are. Yeah, we are actually. That's good. Uh, <laughs> So, we CC the Trapper, it looked like, because it, I think it was overwhelming uh, with the Trapper damage. Yeah. Because the Trappers were doing, um, like, a crazy amounts of uh, random damage. Okay, look at this, by the way, guys. So, Frenzy. Increased damage from the Dominator. Cannot soothe it, actually, it looks like. Just a swipe. I think it has a frontal. You see these, uh, this random damage, by the way, that is going on right now. I think it targets players in ranged only, unless everyone is in ranged. That's why I'm in melee right now, because I'm weak. So if you look at it now, the Dominator is only doing damage to uh, the Paladin and the Warlock, which is out here. So I think uh, that's uh, how uh, the Dominator mechanic worked. So yeah, the Scorpion will just do frontal swipe, don't be in it. Um, it also has a cast time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Imper swipe, but it's very fast cast. So yeah, just don't be in front. And then... Uh, the guy that's on top of it, he will just do damage to what looked to be two targets at the same time? Or? Or was it just random throws? He has one target at a time, but uh, only on the range players. Uh, so, I think that's uh, all of the all of the old dungeons, except for Vortex Pinnacle. Um, Vortex Pinnacle, I am definitely no expert in. Uh, I would have to go into M0 and uh, check that dungeon out first. <clears throat>